It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Mattis Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1808, recorded Thursday, December 3rd, 2020. Quite alarming. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have three of the smallest gadgets. I also take over a big gadget for the rest of the month and my new crappy corner. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG Chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs going blue and LEDs. Get ready for the giz whiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, your gadget herder, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? I'm doing good myself. Doing very good. Uh, how, how was your you? Thanksgiving? Uh, my Thanksgiving was quiet. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I just sent you a photo of yes. um, what we decided to do with... Uh, the turkey like the third day wait a second uh, pe people in the chat room i sent it to chad for president a minute okay. ago oh i see, um, I see. yeah so oh. this is a, a good if you still have turkey uh, i was thinking what to do and suddenly this idea came to my head <laughs> i <laughs> i need to get it up open there we go it was it just did not want to open here we go and oh, okay. this is a great idea that must have just you know popped into yeah, your head yeah and the ah. stuffing keeps it in place nice yeah uh yeah this, was that homemade stuffing <laughs> yes it or is. store bought right no <laughs> the the turkey was store bought um <laughs> and you you had a, like a whole real uh, family thing, right? I did, I did. So, uh, went down to Austin, um, got a COVID test ahead of time. They have them all over here in Dallas, so I was able to, to get that. Um, we still did a socially distant Thanksgiving only with immediate family. So, um, my, my parents' pod, and then my older sister's pod, and then me, and it was a fantastic day to oh. kind of see everybody. We had the Thanksgiving outside. Um, my older sister and her wife brought um, their own table, their own chairs, their own food, wow. and set it up over in the backyard. And it was just, it was wonderful. It was, it was absolutely great, great. Um, to, to have it, something traditional in this non-traditional time. Yes. And uh, yeah, and then I got back on um, on Friday. So yeah, oh, I had a wonderful perfect. Thanksgiving. Perfect. Wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, and, and it's a strange, I don't know if it's happening out there, but when we were walking the dog uh, last Friday, we are seeing more Christmas decorations. So I said to Dennis, well, you know mm -hmm. what? Let's just go to the warehouse and, and get ours. And I saw on one of the shows that people are decorating early just as a way to cheer the, the place up. Absolutely. So, in, in fact, on uh, my, my Twitch streams, the day after Halloween, we put up our Christmas tree. Just oh, kind did of, you? <laughs> it was also kind of a jab. But you know how you go into the store and it's like immediately into Christmas. It was kind of yes. like that, too. Like, you know what? Halloween's over. It's time for Christmas. OK, all of all of December and Part of November is now Christmas. So, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And I brought the tree home and I said to Dennis, uh, I'm not going to put it up on, on Gizwiz yet. And then I, it was sitting on the floor and I thought, well, wait a minute. I could, why not put it up? Um, and, and people in the chat room, yes, this is the one. This is the, the uh, Christmas tree from the uh, movie Pride and Glory. And that's Edward Norton. And in the movie, I believe it's New Year's Eve. And he's by himself looking longingly at the party and the party is taking place on my houseboat, <laughs> except it's July. <laughs> right. <laughs> they shot this the first week of July. Um, and when it was over, oh, uh, let's see, I got paid $500 for them to uh, <laughs> decorate my boat. 
What and what year get, money was this? What what was inflation? Uh, it was two thousand and one. Okay, so not much inflation then. <laughs> no, no, exactly. <laughs> uh, and then I paid someone a hundred dollars because they said we'll be there at seven, uh, and you can be there and you know keep keep track that no one wrecks anything or opens drawers, and then uh, that turned into ten, and then that turned into one. And then I, I, I said to a friend of mine, listen, I'll give you a hundred bucks. Just stay here till they're done. And he said the camera crew arrived at 3 a.m. Oh, my gosh. Um, and, and, and it's funny because in that photo, I realized it looks like like uh, Edward Norton just has a shirt on. And I guess the reason you would think it would be bundled up. But um, since it's July when they shot this. Uh, and anyway, yeah. oh, and the great, the, the great thing was the next day they said, we're coming to undecorate your boat. If there's anything there you want, it'll save us grief if you keep it. And I said, I would love that fiber optic tree. And they said, perfect, keep it. just keep it. Um, and, um, last year I relit it with, um, um, and Ellie, it had one of those rotating color wheels mm -hmm. and a halogen bulb mm -hmm. and it was hot. And then I said, you know what? I can put an LED thing in here and it works great. I, so. I think I may, I may have told you before I've, I installed, uh, like expensive theater systems and homes and we yes. used to do fiber optic stuff for like the ceiling and make it like look like oh, a night yeah. sky and that sort of stuff. Oh my gosh. And hiding that little bit, which is the halogen bulb and the <laughs> motor that spins that little color wheel. Yes. It was difficult to hide that thing because it's loud, it's hot, it needs exhaust. Um, and yes. it also needs to be in this spot where you could change that bulb if it, if it goes out. And so um, you, the one thing you kind of don't want in a, theater a quiet theater is <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes. <laughs> going on and then uh, the same exactly the same thing happened here and the color wheel would then start bending yeah, and rubbing warp. against the side of the plot yeah, and yeah. i figured this is ridiculous i love the tree but Right. Uh, so the okay, good news so, is that fiber optic doesn't go bad so you can switch out the lighting yes. mechanism and um and yeah, and, and then and it, it, <laughs> keep, great. keep the fiber great. optic. <laughs> yeah, and it's way easier. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you're right. I'll be long dead, and that tree will still be lighting. That's awesome. That, that's a good tree. It's a good story, too. What a crazy oh, story. Fun. It, it's crazy fun. Story. It's fun. Um, uh, all right, should we jump into yeah, stuff? Yeah, let's jump in. Uh, okay, here's uh, gadget number one. That's actually three things. If you're looking for something different for holiday gift giving, think about World's Smallest, okay? We see them every year at Toy Fair. They make small versions of famous older toys. I, love, right? I love these products. And so products. the company sent me three of their latest. It's the World's Smallest Slinky Dog. Remember the Slinky Dog? Oh my gosh, the Slinky Dog is 75 years old, 1945 to 2020, world's smallest Slinky Dog pull toy, and also, I, the fun thing would be them trying to get them out of here. <laughs> uh, all right, so they I thought they were snap open packages, so I had this standing by. Um, if they make this, this is also a great Christmas gift. I'm going to cut the poor doggy in here. Okay, so... Um, so oh, my, he comes with a little pull. This is such a... Let me see. Does he come all the way around here? I guess that goes on here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't operate like. Oh, you know what? I can see it. He has more string. Uh, 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 I had no, I I guess some string left, or left or around his neck. Doesn't. I never had a slinky dog. Anyway, it is cute. World's smallest viewmaster. This I did have. 
I had a view. I had a huge Viewmaster collection. Um, you know what? I guess they get the rights from each company because this says Fisher Price. This says and yes, Mattel. they do. Uh, I was looking on their Slinky website, Dog. and they get the official permission from every Slinky manufacturer. Dog. Collector's edition. Slinky uh, Dog might be better on a textured surface because he sl just slides. Oh, along. I see. I, 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 uh, Dennis is saying on a textured surface. Uh, I'm going to cut in a little deeper. This time. Did you have a view? Do you even know a view? Oh, oh yeah. Says, uh, oh, I love oh, these yeah. things. Six plus years. Uh, in a couple of the reviews, they say. Uh, not for really young kids because the parts are really small. <laughs> Look at this little That's... view, man. Oh my gosh. Look at that little reel. Does it work? Well, you can only watch it with one eye. <laughs> <laughs> kind of defeats the person. Yeah, that's not very view map. Does it actually? <laughs> I have to take my glasses off. I, I we need to show it to an ant. Close enough to see. Yes, that's right. It does work. I, I have no idea what I'm seeing because I can't get close enough with my it glasses. It seems to be pictures of toys. But it oh, does it's little, turn. It's, it's little toys. Does it say what my reel is? Um, it seems from reviews, people mostly collect them. Uh and it brings back memories. I mean, this this really is great. Uh, I I had such a huge uh, Viewmaster collection. Well, they don't and take the up much space in a drawer. No. <laughs> Do you ever play? And I never had Kaplunk. I didn't either. Yeah, I never played Kaplunk. Um, Kaplunk I, I remember it. Is, we'll take a look at this. Never played it. This one, especially, they said, keep away from kids. Mm. Of course, look at the tiny little balls that come in this thing. So, you know what? I might not even open this all the way. Are those balls in a little box? I hope they're in a little bag, otherwise they're going to be all over the floor. Huh? Are you in a, pot, a little pack? Yes. Oh. All right, they are. All right, so we can take the rest of this out. All right, so this is the stand. This goes in there. And then... I just looked at the package earlier. The sticks go all through here, okay? And then the object is you drop all the balls in, and I think each person picks a color, and you have to start taking sticks out without letting the balls fall down. Without and letting your color ball is, fall down. Uh, with Chad, we'll go through the prices uh, on Amazon. But that's it. World's wait a minute. It is world's <laughs> smallest host <laughs> with the biggest heart. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's awesome. I think we, I've covered a few of these, but these are just grand. These are just great. Yeah. Oh, I I am. Uh, I sent you a link to uh, two of the uh, Amazon pages. They get great reviews. Yeah. And and uh, the ones okay, I'm trying to remember. I think I did the smallest, um, what is it, Rubik's Cube is, oh, I think, okay. one of the ones I remember doing, um, and it fully worked, but I think I also remember there was, like, one of the, a 3D maze that I did, and it was just great, uh, and they really kind of just do everything, it's, it's awesome, yeah. they so do everything the, the original does, that so and funny. that's the most expensive, the other ones... If we can't find them, it doesn't matter. The other ones are like six and seven dollars. Yeah, eight dollars. There's Barbie. <laughs> and you're oh right. My, uh, my guess is a lot of people might just leave them in the packages. There's right. the Viewmaster. Right. It looks or, like you got five or, yeah. stars from like a hundred. Oh, and there's Slinky Dog. Eight dollars. <laughs> <laughs> These are great. Cute. Light bright. Oh my gosh. Light bright. Oh my. What That's kind of adorable. battery? I wonder if it light. It, I guess it does light up. Yeah, it must be LED. It has to be. Yeah, it must have a little button battery in there. Yeah, yeah. That is that is funny. Um, that is neat. So if you have collectors on your list, 
Get them this that. Is an, an or if, if you know that they're like really into one of these things, like yes, Ride. exactly, exactly. Or, Those or, really uh, three anything. are uh, 2020 uh, additions to the line of my world of world's smallest. Uh, and they have a uh, Amazon. If you find any of them, and just go to the the sellers page. I mean, oh, there Rock'em you go. Sock'em oh, okay. Robots. Oh, Rock'em Sock'em. Oh, my. Lincoln, Lincoln Logs. Logs. Lincoln Logs. I, oh, I played so much Lincoln Logs as a kid. And um, Tinker Toy. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. This is great because uh, for someone who wants to remember, it, <laughs> seriously, it doesn't take up. <laughs> You know, a large amount of space. You get to yes. remember this stuff. Oh, well, you know, also if you bought the if you bought uh, let me see, I estimate if you bought four of those Lincoln log sets, you could build a small apartment in Riverside <laughs> Park and rent it probably for twenty five hundred dollars a month. Yeah. So that would be a good business opportunity. I like it. I like it. Just it's an investment. Think of it. It's an way. investment. It's an investment. Yeah. And it's small enough that if the cops come, <laughs> you just move it to another part of the park. That's great. Um, okay, so I am gonna take over one of the gadget spots, and I'm gonna be covering this thing right here. The new iPhone. This is the 12 Pro oh. Max. So iPhone's done some weirdness with their naming strategy. Um, and so they have the, you know, every number. So you got your 11 last year, 12 this year. And then there's a pro line versus just a normal line. And the pro line has more cameras. It, it's a slightly different design. And then... It has a max version of that line, which is the larger screen. So this is the Cadillac of wow. the iPhones, right? So th you can't get anything better. It's the 12, it's the Pro, and it's the Max. Um, this, this phone actually took a week longer to come out compared to, to the other phones. Um, and I've had it now for uh, about, gosh, few weeks now um um one second uh i'm looking for my notes on this um and it's been great it's been fantastic oh. so what are the main things that have changed from the previous iphones and there's not a ton in fact i think that that is something that should really really stand out that there is not a lot different compared to last year's phone so if you're someone who need, who's looking to upgrade and trying to figure out, should I upgrade from last year's phone? To be honest, unless if you are a nerd like me, <laughs> um, no. Like, it, there's no need to switch to a brand new phone. Um, but that said, here is some of the things that I really, really, really like about this phone. Uh, first off is the body and design. And so this has a very squared up design. So you can kind of see this edge, this is stainless steel. And it is, it's a square. Where last year it was very rounded. And I know that this is a silly thing to really nitpick on a phone, but I absolutely love it. This is a huge improvement. Um, your hand can grip the phone a lot better with these hard right angles. And I just love the look. And this is very reminiscent of the iPhone 4. Uh, so that's probably the main reason. There's all, all the other reasons. F is it fast? Absolutely. It's the fastest they've made. Will it connect to 5G? Yes, it'll connect to 5G. Does it take great photos? Yes, just like the one last year. Is it going to take, you know, do great phone calls? Yes. Is it secure? Yes. Like all those things really haven't changed from year to year. Um... So if, if you're on a three-generation old phone, if you're on a four-generation old phone, and you're, you're thinking about upgrading to a new generation, and you're wondering, is this one worth it? Absolutely. There's, no, there's nothing weird that's like, oh, don't get this phone because of this, this, and this. That does, just doesn't exist. So number one is the body. Next, that, uh, an upgrade is that there's LiDAR on 
the camera. So this little sensor underneath these three cameras, this is a LiDAR, uh, like it sends it out and captures it back uh, to detect how far something is away from this camera. And that is a very, very niche issue that you might want. Uh, the things that LiDAR does is it makes doing any type of augmented reality really, really nice and seamless and more seamless than it was before. Augmented reality on the iPhone was very good already, but now with this LiDAR sensor, it makes it much, much better. So the things that kind of stand out, there's uh, Minecraft Earth. That's a very augmented reality heavy um, app. And then also the measurement app. And then hopefully there'll be kind of more things, but other than, than that, not much. Another new thing is MagSafe. So Apple still has wireless charging, the standard wireless charging that basically is on every phone. Um, but this has a new sort of upgraded wireless charging on top of that called MagSafe. MagSafe is a name from previous Apple products. So you may have heard of MagSafe before on their laptops, but they've sort of built it into their phones. When you buy a MagSafe charger, which is not cheap, you can set it on the back of the phone and it'll immediately find the perfect spot for wireless charging with magnets. Now, one problem with some wireless charging systems is that the cases or any other things will impede that wireless charging. So one of the benefits of MagSafe, not only will it immediately find the most, you know, the, the best spot, to start charging, but also they're gonna guarantee that it's gonna work through their accessories, so, so through their cases. They've also put a little bit of extra sort of Apple sauce, for lack of a better term. Um, they've put some, a little bit more Apple-ness into the whole system where it can work with accessories that you buy from Apple. So this case right here has this kind of circle on it and that kind of shows that it'll work with this phone. So as I add this case, to the back of this phone, you'll notice there's an animation. So I, so I push it in and that animation kind of shows blue. And so if I was to put a brown case on this, it would be a brown animation. If I was to put you know, a, a black case on this, it would be a black animation. And so you can tell that the phone realizes that you have put a specific oh, accessory yeah. onto this phone. And I'll do it one more time. And there is um, sound associated with it. And there it goes. Uh, it just it just did it, so I can kind of pull it away, put it back in, and there you go. There's that little animation, which is kind of nice. Um, other than that, the MagSafe accessories are a little bit expensive. Is it worth it? Probably not. The next thing would be camera changes. The camera changes to me are probably the biggest thing. They uh, the cameras themselves haven't changed a ton. They do have different sensors inside of there. They're larger. They'll be better at low light. Um, and specifically on the Max only, there is optical image stabilization on the sensor itself on your main camera sensor. So you have a wide angle, like you have a super wide angle, a wide angle, and a telephoto. So on that middle one, the wide angle, that will have stabilization on the sensor itself, which is exciting. Also on the other cameras, you have uh, low light shooting, which is absolutely incredible. Their low light mode on these sensors are, is, I mean, it's like breathtaking if you're in that type of situation. And so I'm super glad that they're, uh, that that low light is available on the super wide and uh, the telephotos, which is, which is just great. And you can also do portrait mode if you're into that in low light now. And then finally, I'm going to talk about uh, battery life. Battery life is obviously better on this new phone and I've basically never run into an issue with battery life on this phone and so here's a few stats from my um, battery page so like this morning I kind of unplugged it a little bit early but as you can see right now we're running at 74 percent battery and it's 6 p.m. Um, and then over the last 10 days I've just it's just something I'm not even thinking about in terms of how how much battery I'm actually using most days. It just doesn't go close to 20%. It's I'm sticking at 30, 40% by the end of the day, which is absolutely great. And and so so far battery life has been phenomenal um, as you would hope with a with a flagship phone. 
Um, that's mm. really it. Uh, it's expensive. It's a crazy it's expensive over, phone. It's over $1,000, isn't if it? If you buy it unsubsidized and not on any program or anything like that, yes, it is. It's like a computer, um, but it's a phone. Uh, so yes, <laughs> okay. yeah. So okay. like, uh, it also depends on which phone that you're getting. So if you're getting the 12 Pro, you're. Uh, let's just get just the Pro, and I'm gonna buy a new phone. That's a thousand dollars. If you're gonna get the Pro Max, and we're getting a new phone, that's starting at a thousand one hundred dollars. And then of course it can go up from there if you want a better you know, better, uh, storage on board. So that can go up to $1,400 for storage. Um, I would, so anyway, any questions about the phone that I could answer? Um, it's a, the, the new telephoto lens does go to 2.5, um, zoom instead of just two. So it's a little bit closer. And the sensor has larger pixels for capturing more light. Really, I mean, the practical thing that I would tell people is that, yes, it's the best phone they've ever made. If you are someone who is a few generations behind, then, and and you're wondering, am I going to buy a lemon by buying this phone? Absolutely not. You're going to be super happy with this phone. It's going to be great. It's going to work fantastic for you. Um, And then, okay, so Pete C. says, how's the 5G? 5G is at a point right now that there's going to be some mystical moment in the future that I'm going (laughs) to be at an airport and there's going to be a 5G cell tower. It's going to be just the perfect, most glorious moment when I'm going to want to download that audiobook right as the plane is taking off and I'll be able to pull it off and it'll do great. Well, day to day, that that sort of situation just doesn't happen. Um, and you, I have not noticed a 5G moment so far with, with owning the phone. 5G uh, is built in the phone, built in the OS in such a way that it's only there if you need it because 5G sucks your battery life. Oh, so okay. what what's going to eventually turn that on is, oh, you're browsing Apple Music, you want to download an entire album. Um, so you first you click download, that's step one. Step two is that you have to be located near a 5G tower, which is pretty rare. And on top of that, you need to have really good line of sight to that 5G tower. So not only do you need to be nearby, but you need to be nearby in a good location nearby. Um, and then, all the backend stuff would kick in to download that thing immediately. I think that it's a little bit of a, a pie in the sky. Um, <laughs> it's there. I'm glad that I didn't really pay anything extra for it. I'm not going to be going out and getting an... If, if my plan changed and they said, well, you have to stick to 4G speeds unless you gave me $20 more a month to, to have 5G, I would say, no, I'm not going to pay for that extra plan because I don't think 5G is worth it. Um, so it's kind of cool that it's there. There may be a moment that I use it, yeah. but other than that, uh, you can basically ignore it as a feature. Uh, that's about it. All right. Well, I might I might trade in my uh, my iTouch. It sounds like it's going to be better <laughs> than a little better than that. better than the iPod. <laughs> a little bit better. Yeah, exactly. And so the first someone like me who is already on the Apple upgrade program, I get the upgrade. I, I'm available to get the upgrade at, at very little extra cost to me. Oh, so okay. Of course, I was gonna. And get you're a new professional. One. My gosh. That's the thing is, I really put my phone through through its paces. Yeah. Um, oh, one thing that I meant to mention. So they mentioned during the keynote, and and they've announced that they're going to have uh, the option to shoot raw photos, and to also shoot Dolby Vision video, which mm. is a uh, high dynamic range, like really nice. Yeah. codec for video. Both of those are not out yet, for, so far as I can tell. I, I, I remember reading an article that was like in beta and that some beta testers are getting it. So that is something that is very exciting for me in the future, considering that I shoot a lot of videos on my phone. At the moment, I haven't really played around with it all that much. Specifically, raw photos is going to be something I'm very excited about. If, if you know, there's a different, if there's some ad shoot, you know, or some something, and 
oh, something's just a little bit blown out or something's just a little bit dark, to be able to edit a raw photo uh, to post to Twitter or Instagram is yeah, going to be really, really nice. Uh, but I haven't really played around with that yet. That's still still to come. Um, there you go. All right. It sounds good. And next week you're going to do, what did you, you, you spent the, I have a lot of money of, this month. Right? I did. I did. So I still have, I have the, um, the Mac, uh, the MacBook oh Air, gosh. the, the M1 MacBook Air, but I also have a few other gadgets. I have, um, a new robotic vacuum that I'd love to review. Oh, okay. Great. Great. And a okay. few other things. So, so. Super. Well, well there are five Thursdays in, in, uh, December. So it's great. Perfect. Perfect. Um, um, let's jump. I think you have a, yeah, we're going to do a, a, what the heck is it? Here we go. Um, and this is it right here. It's time for the show. All America is playing. What the heck is it? Our one contestant here is Dennis Wonderland. Dennis Wonderland. What the heck is it? Uh, an ice scraper. An ice scraper. Oh, that's not bad. Is that okay. a razor? Is that uh, a it's weird dead razor? wrong, but it's not bad. Okay, this mm. is. Is, a, is, it, um, is it a? Squeeze it. Okay, uh -oh. that's what oh. I said. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how squeeze it works. Actually, I've been using this. I like this a lot. Okay, and they are really inexpensive. A credit All right, card so you cleaner. stick the so end of a today. tube of toothpaste in there. And then push the rest of the tube through, okay, until you can get the, to the bottom of it. And then you start running it up the tube so that you can get the toothpaste. Ah, ah there ah. it goes. So now you have a nice plumpy toothpaste at the top. It, it works and really it is getting great. The rest of the toothpaste really out of there. Okay, that is very. It's, it's perfect very for cool. cheapskates. Uh, I'm not yes, quite sure exactly. what the hole is for. Uh, <laughs> like me. <laughs> you're not going to hang it up, or maybe you are. Oh no, you're not going to hang it. <laughs> oh, this is good. This looks good. <laughs> I don't know why they're classy. Hold, uh, that squeeze it works really well, and I had this folded down so Dennis couldn't see it. It's sort of a one of those. Pay what you like, okay? These are the squeeze-its here that I have, okay? So you get four squeeze-its for $8. That's two bucks each. You can go down here. Eight of them for six sixty-eight. Wow. And prime shipping. That's probably the way to go. That comes to $0.84 cents each. And lots of colors. If you want a Sesame Street one, you get one <laughs> for five dollars and forty-five cents. But uh, I don't, I don't like these. These look. This one is just very simple and works really well. Four of them for six ninety-nine. Um, well, like hey, look medieval at this. Torture a dozen of, <laughs> a dozen for eight ninety-nine or seventy-five cents each. Uh, this is really good, I think, because you use up all the toothpaste, and it's really simple to use. That's it. Squeeze it. The Gizwiz, Mad's Maddest Writer. Bye. That's nice. I, I like yeah, a small and, and, and it said, you know, you can put in cosmetics if you right. use oil paint, any, anything in a tube. Tomato uh, paste. It, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, someone in the chat room I, I, it just went by I forgot who said it said well I just take mine to the zoo and let the elephant step on it. <laughs> this, this is this is going to be easier than that My, yeah you'll have you yeah. can avoid the uh, the toll at the entrance <laughs> of the zoo exactly no uh, people are saying this is good good stocking stuffer but how little would you pay for it yeah <laughs> yes because as as Scooter X found one for pretty oh, no. cheap for less than 75 cents? Now, here's an issue. You do need to buy a minimum order of 10. So you have to buy at least 10 to get this incredible low, low price of not... What was the cheapest one you found in the video? What was it? 75 cents. 75 cents. Not 75 cents. Not 65 cents. Not even 45 cents. 
10 cents a squeeze it. What? Oh, <laughs> actually, do? they're very cute for kids. You need a minimum order of 10. Oh, are they coming? Is this Alibaba? Yeah, this is Alibaba. Yeah. You could get the the bear or the... What's weird is that bear has a... <laughs> that bear has a face. That face has a mouth. Mouth. In, the, in its nose there. It has a nose and a mouth, but then this one's nose and mouth is the squeeze it. They've... <laughs> oh, do you see how... So the, they printed on a mouth on that one, and then this one is... It's the actual thing. Um, yeah, so you can get a panda bear, a pig. Okay, okay. Now, um, the, the squeeze it seems to have a metal blade in there, so I don't know if these will oh, squeeze hmm. as much, but yeah, it's pretty simple. Not... It's just... Yeah. I assume it's gonna it's gonna work fairly well. A dime. Whoa. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Whoa. I I'm surprised. Can't even. There's not a lot of stuff you can buy for ten cents nowadays. No. no <laughs> not no. a lot. Is it a hundred dollars shipping? Oh yeah. What is the shipping? Uh, let's see. Um, no. Normally, when it's like ten cents, it's like a minimum order of a thousand. Right. So this is. I mean, that's a dollar. Where where is shipping? What where does it go? Maybe I need to add a few. Let's add ten of these. Uh, oh, it says please pick up in Japan. <laughs> yes, we'll see you at our factory. I don't see normally shipping is nearby, but uh, I might have to start my order here in order to see shipping. Oh my gosh, it's hidden off the page. One second. I'm trying okay. to figure out how there's to show gotta, it to you. It's got to be it's, a... It's exorbitant. It's exorbitant. It's pretty pretty ridiculous. Here we go. Let me just scroll this right on over. Shipping only costs $36.91. <laughs> That's there it. There we go. That's there all. There we go. <laughs> okay. All well, maybe right. we'll be avoiding uh, this gadget. Yeah. Okay. I think $0.75... Cents is a better deal <laughs> and free shipping. Oops. Um, okay, so there we go with uh, with that. With that, I think let's move on to... <gasps> you know you Chad. It, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Get it. Uh, so... The first question is, what is the crappy corner theme going to be? And I really need your opinion on this one, Dickie D, because yes. we had three options. We had workout okay. gadgets, Christmas yeah. gadgets, or gadgets and gifts under $10. Which is your favorite? What was the second one? Exercise is out. Yeah, exercise is out. So Christmas or gadgets and gifts under $10. They could almost be the same thing. I'm going to go with under $10. Under $10. I'm glad that you put in your vote because it was a dead heat. Oh, 50, my God. 50. There was, because there was, I'm so now that you voted here, can I, I don't think I voted either. $10. Okay. Okay. Vote. Because it, that can be both categories. Is, is it going to update? It's not going to update. Wait, what? We broke the website. Oh, there we go. There we go. 43% voted for gadgets and gifts under $10. Only 42% went for Christmas gadgets. Okay. So okay. I'm glad that we got that. So I, I kind of got something that was a little both. Um, but Yeah, uh, yeah I, I think that works. I looked earlier and, and, and uh, $10 gadgets were, was winning. So I mentioned in the video $10 gadgets. But uh, internally, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> that could be used for both. But now it's definitely $10 gadgets moving forward. Um, $10 and under. And so, uh, uh, here, let's grab it. This is this is the gadget. The whole gadget. In fact, may, this might be a fun... What the heck is it? Um, this is the gadget. I may have shown, shown it off already. But... No. Uh, it's got to be a hot chocolate maker, no? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I mean, the big old Hershey's logo on the side of it. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, And a spout. So anyway, I've recorded a video, so let's uh, check that out. 
Hey Diggy D, we're coming at you with a new crappy corner theme. This month's theme is gadgets under $10. So, found this at five below. Uh, it intrigued me because it looked rather gadgety. It is a way to make your own hot chocolate, which is very Christmassy as well. So, Let's go ahead and open it up. I already have some hot water going for our hot chocolate. I'm sure that this doesn't make hot water. So I have that already getting prepared. And maybe maybe we could just open it, open it live. We'll do it live. What does the inside of the box look like? Ooh, okay, it looks like this. Ooh, so we have the actual device. It looks like I have two cups here. I have a handle, which is not attached in the beginning. And then I also have some instructions on how to operate it. So I was kind of wondering if this was like gonna inject, you know, it, it kind of shows some products that you could use with it. Inject any of this, it, it doesn't look like that. But let me uh, get reading and I'll be right back. So it does require three AA batteries and a cover that needs a screw to hold it in so i'm just gonna keep that off for right now so uh at the moment it looks like this it looks like as you bring down the plunger and it reaches the bottom it will start to spin oh. so oh, that shit. is going to be the technology quote unquote that is going to be used for this device now the mug that i used doesn't quite <laughs> oh, fit inside no. the stirrer down there will not allow this to to go all the way in so we're going to transfer our hot water into the cups that they provided now also it suggested that we use you know hershey's um hershey's branded chocolate mix well i don't have any of that i just have some swiss miss so we're going to use that instead and this is looks like nowhere near avoiding the warranty that the Swiss Miss exactly. suggests that you use. I would say this is more like three ounces of water. <laughs> so I'm just going to eyeball how much of the chocolate packet to add in there. So let's just dump, 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 dump. I like mine really chocolatey. So here, that's about, it's a little bit more than half of the packet that I added. It's going to be extremely chocolatey. So now... I'm just gonna grab the handle here. Sorry, I'm gonna get rid of the Swiss Miss. And then grab this handle. It's gonna plunge down into the chocolate and start a spinning once it gets to the bottom. Oh, oh. it's getting really close to the edge. Yes. Really, really close to the edge. I actually stopped it because it was getting too close. Oh my my. Holy moly. Okay, this is like dangerous. This is like way <laughs> too close. I think this get was it invented close to by a dry cleaner. So maybe it wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't go crazy. It looks like straight up chocolate. It looks like coffee actually. Okay, so we'll we'll bring it up. And could this have been done with a spoon? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> is. <laughs> I just realized there's like grooves at the bottom of this. Was that, are those grooves specifically made for this cup? No, the, the cup does not fit those grooves exactly. Okay, well, there we go. I'm so glad that we bought this $5 mixer. Let's test it. Thoroughly mixed, thoroughly mixed hot chocolate. <laughs> I'm so glad that I bought this extra gadget that I'll have sitting on my desk and or kitchen for but, so you know, long. Someone in the chat room said it, it looks like it's a heavy duty correctly. plastic. Uh, there you go. <laughs> that's it. The Hershey's hot chocolate mixer. Got it at five below for you guessed it. Five dollars. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, I don't know about heavy duty. I, I'd yeah. call it plastic. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. But I mean, for five dollars, it's good plastic five for five dollars. I'm think. surprised. Well, yeah, I think I think kids will like it. Right. Um, yeah. So it, it kind of adds like something special just to make a normal hot chocolate. But other than that, 
it's, it's it, it is interesting why they useless. put a ridge in the bottom. It's almost like you're supposed to use a special kind of something. That's what I thought, but no, not at all. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's weird in so many ways because I couldn't fit a normal <laughs> mug into it. It it came very. I thought that I was being very conservative on the amount of liquid that I was adding to that tiny cup, and it really. I could if I would have added a drop or two more water in there or mix, it would have overflowed and we would have had yeah. a very funny moment on the Gizwiz, but I would not suggest <laughs> that for families. Um, so yeah, so it's, I, I, it's very, I don't, I wouldn't suggest it. Okay. <laughs> it falls three into the stars. crappy You're corner. in the three yeah. star area. <laughs> yes, okay. exactly, exactly. It worked, it didn't not work, uh, but I would, I would not, tell someone to go buy this gadget. Okay. Uh, so there you go. That is the first of the crappy corners for me this month. We're going to be sticking to gifts and gadgets that are below five, $10. Uh, and of course, like I mentioned, Five Below has this available uh, for, for you to buy. And it's also available online at their uh, their website. Whoops, if they would get rid of this ad here. Uh, $5. Oh, sold out. Oh, it is sold out. Oh, darn it. Oh man, well, I was able to find one locally, so if you have a Five Below nearby, you, you may still be able to find a few of them. So there you go. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy when gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play in this gadget warehouse. Uh, all right, so we did not have a viewer video uh, for this week's Gadget Warehouse, so I went to the Gadget Warehouse, which was good because while we were there, we thought, well, it's December, let's get all the Christmas stuff. And we also found this neat gadget. Ooh. All right, I'm a backyard crook. A professional burglar because I, I have a microphone, which most professional burglars don't have. Okay, so this guy left his gate open. Even if the door is locked, I know how to pick the lock. So we're going to go in and see what we can find. Okay. Oh. Oh. He has this little dog. I saw him on television, a little dog like Charlie, but he sounds fierce. But let me, I'm picking it. I hope the dog is not. Oh, man. Charlie. Yes. Charlie. It's okay, Charlie. I'm just. Charlie, how. Charlie, how. That's no small dog. Okay, that is... I feel like is, I've heard that dog on. in a movie. All right. <laughs> that is my old Sharper Image Radar Watchdog and Intrusion Alarm. Okay? So you get to pick one doggy, you get to pick two doggies, or a regular alarm. And it's pretty effective. And it even has, if you approach it from the back, you see the... The uh, most sensitivity is up front, but there is some in the back because when I was setting it up and I walked away from it backwards, not backwards, but walking away from it, it still started barking. Uh, it was 80 bucks and boy, I guess it must be at least 30 years old, okay? The Sharper Image Radar Watchdog. It's, it's, I That's, think it, it really works really well because it, I it, agree. It, I think that, but it did have a, a, sl a slight edge of canned dog. It had like a canned <laughs> dog smell to it almost. Right. Uh, okay. But I think the thing is a burglar is going right. to not say, you know, I'm going to, I'm not going to chance. Recording? Have I heard that dog loop before? <laughs> Have I heard this on a TV show before? I, yes, I exactly, agree. I don't exactly. think they chance it. Yeah, um, exactly. Um, but it was one, I think, one of the first uses of digitized uh, devices. 
1994. So it's 26 years ago that Sharper Image uh, had this. <laughs> and uh, I think it, I, I was thinking, you know, I should just leave this behind the door in the warehouse. Exactly. And then I'm thinking every time someone goes by, they're going to call Peter or the NPCA to... and said, this guy has a dog, There's a dog in, in this, in this building. Exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it's, it, it's great fun. And, uh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it on eBay. I looked on eBay and it seemed like there were some knockoffs, uh, much smaller ones. I think part of the thing is the unit itself is uh, on the large size, so it probably has a fairly decent speaker in there. And it works on AC. It comes with an AC adapter, but it can also run on three AA batteries, uh, not included. So that would be good if you were using it in a garage or something, a place where the power was not nearby. But it doesn't matter, of course. It's long gone. <laughs> it's eaten it. Uh, with that, let's move on to the... Wait, actually, let's remind people how they can send in oh, their Oh, yes, video. exactly. Thank you. I totally forgot. Oh, we're looking for more videos, okay? Uh, that was just a two-minute video. Uh, one minute, two minute, up to three minute video of old gadgets, uh, a gadget you just bought and love, a gadget you just bought and hate. Anything to do with a gadget, uh, put it on YouTube. When you uh, upload it, you, there's a drop-down menu. You can click unlisted, and that way only people with the URL will be able to see it. Don't click private. Then only you can see it, and we can't. So make the video uh, horizontal and make sure we can hear you. And send the link to us at mail at gizwiz.tv. And if we show it, you get fame, tiny, 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 a little bit of fame, and you'll get whatever the current issue of Mad Magazine is if you live in the U.S. If you live outside our country, I'll autograph a 38-year-old Alfred E. Newman picture and send you a high-res image uh, autographed to you to print out at your end. Okay, mail at gizwiz.tv. We could use something for next week. Do Be it. great if you're a new person and has not submitted anything. I agree. With that, now let's move on to the letter. Now. And it's kind of interesting. I was going through the letters and I thought, oh, this letter fits perfectly because we did three of the world's smallest gadgets. Oh. And now we have a letter from a fan who sends us to a, uh, to a link where they took a small gadget and made it into a huge one. Uh, Dick, I thought you and Chad might be interested in these giant AirPods. They're Bluetooth headphone Whoop. speakers. Oh, they got a Very video loud. There? Okay. <laughs> Whoa. These are oh, gigantic. They are. You know what? Do you remember... Fred, remember Fred? Yeah, come, uh, I remember I think Fred. Fred is still around. The, Fred made giant earbuds. Right. A, a, and so now this is like the, uh, <laughs> they're very funny. Oh my they gosh. are giant uh, headphone speakers. He said, I saw them on AliExpress. A uh, fun novelty item, especially for an Apple fan or for someone with really big ears. Uh, keep up uh, the good work and stay safe. Uh, cactus head, <laughs> but there they are, and I didn't see the price. What was the price uh, on that? Let's go back up here. What was the price? So, um, uh, let's choose white, the classic. Okay. Should yeah. we choose color new technology 2020 or color? Let's let's choose this color. Uh, 16 bucks. What is new oh, technology okay. 2020? Who knows what new technology 2020 is? Um, and then you get the the AirPods Pro for sixteen dollars as well. So, oh, and, and shipping then, is only for, yeah. Oh, shipping so it's is twenty only... bucks, uh, twenty something. All said and done. Yeah. Oh, but this will not be a, for a Christmas gift. Estimated no. delivery by J uh, January nineteenth. <laughs> yeah, just almost in time for <laughs> for. Uh, for for Easter, uh, yeah. <laughs> if there's <laughs> any delays, <laughs> yeah, um, there you uh, go. Anyway, 
There you go. Cactus Head, they're very funny. Thanks for uh, letting us know about those. I like that a lot. That's very funny. Very clever. Well, I think it's also very funny and very clever and very great that you guys continue to support us over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. We'd like to take a moment in every show and say thank you. Thank you so much to those of you who support us on Patreon, on PayPal, however you support us. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. This is a fan-supported show. So if you want to support... 288 Hannah episodes fan-supported. 288 <laughs> fan-support... Independently run episodes from you guys. So thank you. That is incredible. Uh, if you want to support the show, head on over to gizwiz.biz. Sorry, head on over to <laughs> patreon.com slash gizwiz. <laughs> Uh, and you can learn more there, support at Patreon, or you can head on over to gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab at the top of the website, and there's a big banner that will take you there. Right underneath that big banner is a link for PayPal, so if you want to give via PayPal, you can, you can do that. Uh, however you give, thank you so, 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 so much for your support. We really do appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live. There we are live, a few seconds delayed. Uh, you can watch us there Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Join the chat room or subscribe on iTunes. We have an RSS feed and we have a YouTube channel. And you can also see any of the previous episodes there if you missed one live and, uh, and check all those out. That's, I mean, we go back 61 pages there. Uh, so you can check out all those older episodes. Head on over to gizwiz.biz next after you check out gizwiz.tv because that's where Dickie D writes up articles about all of the gadgets that we cover. So if you want to find something that we talked about on the show, gizwiz.biz is a fantastic place to do your search. Um, and then while you're there, play What the Heck Is It? We always mention it. We always have sort of a spin-off of what the heck is it on our episodes. This is the original. This is a gadget you are trying to figure out what the heck it is. And don't worry, you don't have to be perfectly correct. You can be creative in your answers, but this is uh, obvious. I mean, just obvious to me um, <laughs> that this is a rare species of crab the Tiffany crab. You can tell from the color. Oh the my Tiffany, gosh, yeah, it looks Tiffany like Tiffany blue. color. Yeah, the Tiffany crab. So if you think you know what this is, get a guess. And there are six Mad Magazines for correct answers, but double the Mad Magazines, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers. So get creative over at gizwiz.biz. If you need the mobile version of that site, that is gizwiz.me if you are checking it out on a phone. And you are playing for the February Ooh. 2021 issue of MAD. Well, look at that. And I am in it also. Perfect. So that's what you'll get. Signed by Dickie D. So get a play. Yeah. That about wraps it up for this show. We'll see you. Oh, wait. Uh, oh. We have one change in December. We are, we because do. of Christmas, we are recording uh, Tuesday, December 22nd. We are doing a show New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. And then New Year's Eve, we are coming back like a quarter to midnight East Coast time to welcome in the new year. And then an hour later, we'll come back at a quarter to 12 Chad's time, uh, central time, to welcome in the new year. And we hope you'll join us for that, too. Perfect. And so, so do that. Put that on your calendar. Also, I'm thinking of... Uh, anyway, we'll talk off... off air about this one, but there may be another okay. change there. Uh, okay. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.